guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, I am kind of going back to my roots and I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. It is going to be a fall makeup tutorial. I picked up a few new items that I wanted to share with you that I feel would be very fall-like. One of the items is even a holiday palette, which I think is really, really great. I can't wait to share with you. But then I also asked you on Instagram, if you had any handbag questions or anything like that, just submit them to me. So I have a bunch of great questions that you guys submitted that I'm going to answer in today's video. So like I said, I started my channel a few years back doing makeup. I was never a makeup artist or anything like that, but I just always had an interest and a passion for it. And then I kind of branched out to, into fashion and handbags and handbag comparison videos and luxury handbags and all kinds of stuff. So I like to say that on my channel, you're going to get a little bit of everything. So I thought it would be fun to go back to my roots and do a get ready with me sharing products and answering questions. So without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. If you want to see a fall get ready with me answering some of your juicy handbag questions, then keep watching. Okay, so since I'm going to be answering some of your questions, if I forget to mention what product I'm using on my face, I will be sure to link it down below. So I got some really good handbag questions from you guys. So the first question that I have is actually from Jordan Hines, 70. Hi, Jordan. And she wants to know if I had to choose between the YSL Toy Lulu or the Louis Vuitton Alma BB, which one would I choose? That is an easy one. Well, I don't own the Toy Lulu, but I do own the Alma BB, and I will put in a picture so you guys can see what it looks like, and that is one of my favorite Louis Vuitton bags. So I would have to say already that it would definitely be the Alma BB. That is just such a versatile bag. You can dress it up, dress it down. It's a tiny bag, but you can fit a lot. You can carry it by the top handle. You can use it crossbody. So many great ways to wear it. And then with the Toy Lulu, I actually don't own it, so I can't provide, like, a really really you know I can't provide like great feedback on it but from what I've heard it is rather small and you can't fit a ton in it but I would have to say between those two if I had to pick it would definitely be the Alma BB I love that bag so thank you for your question okay oh and I'm using the Dior forever foundation and I also used this Dior this is the backstage face and body primer and I am just dabbing it into my skin using a damp beauty blender okay the next question is by Dalgasa 13 looking for a medium white purse any recommendations well I actually I don't own any I don't think I own any white handbags other than the Louis Vuitton corsette um, and the Louis Vuitton Neverfull but I could recommend two really really pretty cream handbags and I would have to say either the Saint Laurent envelope bag that's in a really pretty cream color um, or the Saint Laurent College bag that is also in a cream color. Um, I really like the idea of having a cream bag in your uh, collection because I definitely feel like it is a neutral staple and it can go with a lot. So I would have to say for a white bag it would be one of those and I will put pictures on the screen so you can see what I'm referring to. So thank you for your question. Okay, is there a brand of bag you don't own but you are curious about? So that's a great question. Um, I do have, I would love to dabble in Prada. I don't own anything by Prada. Um, there is a bag, and forgive me if I pronounce it, I will put a picture on the screen. It's called the Prada Cahir, C-A-H-I-E-R bag. If you guys own it, let me know your feedback, but that is so cute and so chic, and that is the bag kind of outside of my comfort zone that I would absolutely love to own. So definitely Prada. And that was by never the same love twice so thank you so much next question is by brim blake what are your thoughts on a medium college or envelope in ysl oh my gosh i have the medium college bag on my wish list you guys know i've been going back and forth on that bag i'm not sure what to do and the reason i'm kind of like held up and i'm torn is because i've heard it's very similar to the 
Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse and you guys know that I do have that one I have it in the black and prompt leather on um, prompt leather and then I also have it in the monogram so because it's so similar I'm just not sure if I really quote unquote need it but I definitely love the idea of the college bag in the medium but let me tell you what has also kind of held me back um, I've watched a couple reviews and people are saying that it really doesn't fit that much and I feel like if you're gonna invest the money it should be a bag where you can fit you know a, a good amount but I love the college and the envelope you guys know that I own the large envelope bag it's one of my favorite bags I have it in the black and I would love to get it in the cream color so I definitely love both of those bags I don't think you can go wrong with either and then I use the chart, chart, the chart shape tape, sorry, on my under eyes. The next question is by Jessica Osco, a travel bag that you recommend. Okay, well, I really, really love the cow pack suitcase and then I have the organizers. If you guys haven't seen my video where I go to Vegas and I um, kind of pack with me and organize, make sure to check that out. And then I also love the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I have it in the GM size and I love that when I take it to um, airports because you can fit so much in it. It is such a great bag. So those are probably my two recommendations as far as like travel bags are concerned but I don't own any like Louis Vuitton luggage or anything like that. And I'm just using the Cody Airspun powder. Okay, so thank you for your question. And the next one is by Carlitos in Monogram. Is there a handbag you regret buying but don't want to say out loud? That's a tough one. I don't know if there's a bag I regret buying because I'm pretty happy with my collection but there are a few bags that I don't use as much as I thought I would but that doesn't mean I don't like them or enjoy them I just don't use them as much um you guys know I kind of tend to gravitate towards black bags so I have my YSL mini camera bag in the red um, I love that bag it fits a lot but I don't use it that much just because of the color and then you guys are going to be shocked when I say this. I don't regret it. So let me just caveat it by saying I don't regret buying this bag. But the uh, Louis, uh, the Saint Laurent um, Small Lulu in the Poudre, which is my absolute favorite beige color. Um, again, I don't wear it that much because I wear a lot of black. So I don't wear that one. But again, I don't regret either one of those bags. But those are just two bags that I don't wear as much as I thought that I would wear but they're still great. I don't want to say anything bad about them, but it's strictly because of the color, um, because I gravitate more towards black that I don't wear them as much. Um, so thank you for your question. But I don't really have any bags that I regret buying. Okay, the next question is um, by Alexandra Beith. If you could only keep one bag from each brand that you own, what would it be? One YSL and one LV. Oh gosh, that's so hard. Um, I would have to say, okay, but I have to pick, I have to pick. I would say if I could only keep one Saint Laurent bag, you guys probably already know, it would be my envelope bag. I just love the large envelope bag. It's so incredibly beautiful um, and chic and I, I love the look of it so much. It can fit a ton um, and you guys know I'm thinking of getting another color. So probably for YSL, it would be my envelope bag. Although I, there are so many by YSL I love. Like I do love the camera bag as well. Um, but if I had to pick, it would probably be the envelope bag. And then for Louis Vuitton, I think I have to go with my Pochette Matisse just because um, it fits really nicely crossbody. It has an adjustable strap. You can fit a ton because of the accordion style. It has a back pocket for my phone, so it kind of checks all the boxes. And I think, you know, I have two. I have Monogram and Empron. I would have to say M the Empron leather because that one is black, and I do gravitate towards black. So if I had to choose my favorite, to be... Saint Laurent envelope and then uh, Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in the Emprunt leather. And I use the foolproof uh, brow powder. Okay, so now really quickly, let me pause on the questions. I wanna show you one of the items I picked up from Sephora. This is actually from a hol the holiday collection. It's $49, but it's $270 value. You get three palettes right here. You get the Little Bloom palette, you get the Little Juicy, and the Little Toasted. How cute. So, 
I am going to reach in here and I think for purposes of this video, um, and these are so cute, I have to show them to you. Like here is the little toasted. Oh my gosh, how adorable, so cute. I think I'm gonna use this one today, but let's see. And then there's the tart, Tartlet Little Bloom. Very, very adorable. This one has neutral shades, so maybe I'll use this one. Um, I'm not sure. And then the last one is the Tarte Little Juicy Palette, and this one kind of has more um, cranberry colors, which is really pretty. So I think for this video, I'm gonna use the Little Toasted. That is so cute, because this has a lot of like really, really pretty fall rich colors. Um, so I am going to go ahead and I'm going to start with this shade right here and I like to just apply it for my lid all the way up to my brow just to kind of give me a nice canvas. And I don't usually use any type of eye primer, I just usually will put some um, concealer. So let me just put that on there. Okay, so let me get back to your questions. Um, but probably what I'm going to do is I'll just put this one in my crease and then this one in my crease and then some of the darker colors maybe in my outer corner and then I'm going to use one of these shimmer shades which are really pretty um, on my lid. Um, okay, so the next question is DNJ98, what is your favorite LV bag for a nice dinner out? So I have to say, usually if I go like on a nice dinner out with my husband, um, I would gravitate more towards like my, my Chanel bag just because that one I usually only carry on special occasions. Um, I would say a lot of my Louis Vuitton bags, I don't want to say they're more casual because I carry them to work, but as far as like night out, I, I don't really gravitate towards a lot of them for a night out because again it would be one of my YSL bags I think or um, definitely my Chanel um, yeah I, I definitely try to carry my Chanel classic flap a lot um, because other than that I don't get like a ton of use out of it I would definitely say my Chanel classic flap I know that's not Louis Vuitton um, but that is just the truthful honest answer of what I usually carry if I go on a date night out um, okay, so what's next? Next, um, from Stacy Ann. Hi, Stacy. Um, thoughts on the Odeon MMPM? I absolutely, I, I looked, you know, this, that bag I think is adorable. I love the fact uh, that it has a pocket where you can put your phone and then I absolutely love the luggage tag. That is such a cute feature. And I was watching, I want to say Lux Purse Love. If you guys haven't checked out her channel, you should. Um, she owns this bag and I think she said it's a very comfortable crossbody to wear. So I really, really like that bag and I think it is super, super cute. I am going to go in probably with this one in the crease as well. These are really really pigmented shades. I feel like I haven't done like an eyeshadow look in forever because usually what I've been doing is just using the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize and it keeps it nice and simple for me. So, okay. Alright, and then I'm going to kind of deepen it up a little bit. By maybe going in with this little it's like a cranberry color and I'm just using the same brush and I put that in my outer corner here but that bag is super cute it really really is okay the next question is by me dancing chic thoughts on Rolex Michelle and other watches so you guys I have to be honest I am kind of more into like fashion jewelry like I have my wedding ring which I wear every day um, but then other than that I'll wear like Kendra Scott earrings or Kate Spade earrings um, or if I do wear a watch it'll be like a Michael Kors watch I'm not super super into like luxury pieces I'm not saying I never will be but right now I'm not um so I feel like um, as far as like a Rolex is concerned, I'd probably invest the money as in a handbag, that's just me. A Michelle watch, I actually um, purchased a Michelle watch for my mom and she still has it to this day and she absolutely loves it. But other than that, I don't really have a ton of experience when it comes to like luxury watches, but um, they're, they're definitely beautiful, that's for sure. Oh, this is nice. So I took this shade right here and I'm putting it on my lid with my finger and you can see how pink 
pigmented and beautiful it is it's just like a really really nice this is a good deal I recommend if you guys go to Sephora to pick this up you're getting all three of these cute little palettes for $49 I actually when I went in there I almost picked up a Fenty Beauty little eyeshadow but I was like six of them for 25 compared to I could get three palettes for 49 so I definitely um, chose this so I'll also, also try to find this and link it down below as well okay the next question is by bags travel do you only buy bags from Louis Vuitton YSL Gucci Chanel no Versace Prada etc no not necessarily um usually what I'll do is like if I see a bag I like you know then I have no problem investing in in other brands I just think I've gravitated more lately towards Louis Vuitton and Saint Laurent because those are kind of like the styles of bags that I like but no if I saw a style of bag I liked and it was by Prada like I said I'm, I really like that Prada Kahir bag um, but if I saw a bag like that I liked I would definitely buy from another brand I am um, I don't have any specific preference to like specific brands or anything like that Okay, now I'm going to go in with this. This is the Benefit Hello Happy Velvet Powder Foundation. And I usually use this just to wipe away the other powder. And then I go in with my mascara. Okay, so now for mascara, I am going to curl out my lashes. Okay, so then the next question is... This is by Paige and Owens. Do you have the Totally from Louis Vuitton? I am debating it. I actually don't own that bag. Um, my thoughts on it, I think it's a really cute bag. But for me personally, I have the Louis Vuitton. I have the Neverfull in the monogram. So I don't know if I would buy that bag um, just because it's really, really similar to the Neverfull and I really do enjoy the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, but I do know a lot of people that do love that bag. So if it's something you have your heart set on and you really want it, then I say go for it because like I always say um, handbags are personal preferences you know there might be a bag that I'm not really into but someone else loves and then vice versa something that I really love but someone else thinks that's like you know absolutely hideous <laughs> and the mascara I'm using is the bad gal bang this is so good and it really really voluminizes your lashes okay um next question is by claudia joseph in peru hi claudia do you still have or use your lv agenda pm do you recommend it so i do still have my lv agenda, uh, agenda pm it's a cute little organizer but i have to say i didn't use it this year because i needed to get a refill plus my husband actually bought me um this right here it is an Erin Condren planner which I absolutely love so because I had that planner I haven't used that one but I would recommend it because it's small it's cute you can keep it in your purse it's going to keep you organized I'm using the Fenty Beauty Island Ting mm, it's definitely going to keep you organized so I would recommend it and sorry if I'm kind of all over the place I try to multitask but sometimes it's it's hard when doing makeup um but yeah, I would recommend it. Super cute. But one thing I told you in a recent video is I would not recommend buying the refills from Louis Vuitton. You can get them from Amazon um, for like 10 bucks, and you can save a bunch of money, but they work as well. So, okay, now I picked up a new blush by NARS. It is um, called Savage. Isn't that pretty? Look, is that like not a perfect fall color? I'm so excited to use this. Um... Oh, speaking of blushes, Tarte also had like holiday like blush sets. I want to say you got like nine, you may have gotten like six blushes and then a couple highlighters, which I think is a great deal. Oh boy. Oops. Okay, so note to self, this is super pigmented, but not to fear. So I'll just take like a stippling brush here and I will blend it out if that ever happens but oh my gosh I should have known it was pigmented because NARS has some great blushes but I still really like that color I think that is perfect for fall again that was in the shade uh, Savage so now let me go ahead um, a lot of times what will happen is 
I'll get foundation on my lips. So before I apply lipstick, I like to take a baby wipe. I should just wipe everything off of it. Wipe off my lips so I have like a clean slate. So I'm gonna go in um, with the Make It Forever Aqua Lip and this is in the shade 2C. This is kind of a nice neutral shade. of my lips. Okay, and then another new item I got, which I'm really excited about, as you guys know how much I love this, Selena Gomez Rare, Be Rare Beauty uh, Lip Souffle and Courage. So I picked up another one. This is Fearless. It is a really, really pretty, pretty fall color. I'm super excited. Let me show you. You can see that on my hand. So nice. These are very comfortable. Really, really pretty color. Okay, so let me um, go ahead and do my highlighter. Uh, two questions left. La this is by Liz Adams, 1525. Hi, Liz. Um, love watching your channel. Have you thought about doing more cooking videos? So probably not cooking because I'm a horrible cook, but I love to bake. I think I've done a couple baking videos like Tiger Butter Fudge, Chocolate Chip Cookies. I think I've done a couple others, but yeah, if you guys want to see like baking videos, I would love to do more. Um, I just wasn't sure if that's something you guys would want to see, but um, I used to bake for my work every week when I would go into the office. Obviously, I'm working from home now, so I don't get to do that as much, but I love baking. So if you guys want to see more baking videos, let me know, and I would definitely love to do that. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this um, Chanel highlighter. Duo de Camellias. Really, really pretty. You get two shades in here. Um, okay, and then the final is what is your next bag purchase? Oh, what a good question to end things on. So I have to say I'm pretty happy with my um, current collection. I've actually been really I've been a bad, bad girl over this whole quarantine situation. So there's nothing that I really, really like need. There aren't any bags that I like really, really need, but I do have a couple that are on my wish list. If you guys haven't seen that wish list video, I'll link it down below. Make sure to check it out. But I would still love to have the Chanel Mini Square in the caviar, but I want it um, before, I think it's like 2012 or older. That's kind of what I'm looking for because it's a specific style. Um, that one, I have my eye on the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the MM size in the Damier Aben with the Rose Ballerine interior. That is so, so pretty. Um, actually, uh, Leo Lion LV, I follow her on YouTube. She's great. She has the best voice. She recently picked it up and did an unboxing, so make sure to check her video out. She's great. I also really love the Saint Laurent M envelope bag in a large size in the cream. I always see Maria Vizuet, uh, Mia Mia Mine wearing it and it looks beautiful on her. What else? Again, these are all bags I don't need, but like I'm just kind of telling you some of my wish list items. Oh, and then another bag too is I used to own the Gucci Dionysus Super Mini, but that one I ended up selling because I couldn't fit like anything in it. I've thought about getting a size larger because it's kind of more of like an earth tone bag that I could wear with um, a couple other things. So those are some of the bags that are kind of on my wishes, but if I'd have to say like number one that I don't need, but it's on my wishes is I'm still in the hunt for the Chanel um, Mini Square. And actually, one of my subscribers, she actually had one and I almost bought it, but I, I, I just don't I don't need it right now I, I had recently purchased the wallet on chain trendy CC so I'm trying to be good it's not something I need so I'm gonna keep my eyes out my eyes open and if I see one I just fall in love with them I might have to do it so anyway but all right now I'm gonna finish the look by spraying with Urban Decay okay and then one final step that I like to do this is very unnecessary you don't have to do it but it's the Chanel the lift hand cream. One thing I do when I'm done doing my makeup is I will use this hand cream because one thing, especially as you're getting older, you don't want to neglect your hands. You really, really want to take care of them. So I've been doing this each day as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed. That is my completed final makeup look. I know I really didn't get to talk about the makeup too much, so I will be sure to link everything I mentioned down below in the event I didn't mention it, which I'm sure I didn't mention a lot. Thank you guys so much for all of your wonderful questions. I appreciate it so much. If there's anything 
anything else you want to know, feel free to reach out. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that little subscribe button. And I'd love to have you follow me on Instagram as well. I will put my Instagram handle right here so that you guys can see I do a lot of outfit pics and flat lays and all kinds of stuff. Have a good day, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And like I tell you at the end of every video, make sure to always be kind. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.